Rich DeMarco on the Army Football Report. Coming up in just a moment, we'll talk with Army senior offensive lineman Steve Shoemaker. But up first, here are comments from Army head coach Jeff Munkin from his weekly news conference previewing this Saturday's game against Yale. They, they've got a big football team, uh, guys with good size. They've got good athletes on their team. And uh, Tucker Wall, who's been on our staff for several years, recognizes a lot of the guys on that on the Yale roster and guys that are starting for them. He said, you know, those are guys that we try to recruit here. And I've never been there before. This would be the first time uh, going to the Yale Bowl. And, uh, and, and just to know the history of that stadium, just as, as, as we know the history of, of Mikey Stadium, and there's a lot of great stadiums like that around the country. And, and, and just to be able to be a part of that and uh, be a part of a game day there, I think, is really something special. And as I told our team yesterday, there, there, there's a great history between these two universities. And to know what this history means and what it, what it really meant to college football decades ago, that, that when... when uh, when Yale and, and Army would square off, it was a big deal in college football all across the country. But I, you know, I was really impressed with their team, uh, the size of their team, the athleticism of their team, and, uh, and how well coached they are. And you know, that, a well coached football team that doesn't get down 28 to 7 and, and uh, you know, fold the tents. And they did, and they got down 28 to 7, and they came back and, and won the football game. That's Army head coach Jeff Munkin. Army at Yale, 1 o'clock kick time from the Yale Bowl on Saturday. Now we're going to spend a couple of minutes with first-classman offensive lineman Steve Shoemaker, who's making a homecoming to Connecticut from nearby Milford, getting a chance to play in New Haven. Big week for you. Oh, absolutely, absolutely. You know, looking forward to uh, get back home, uh, see some of the family, see some of the coaches, the old team. So, you know, it's going to be great playing in that bowl with a bunch of, a bunch of home supporters. How many family and friends going to be there on Saturday? Um, you know, not a big family, so about eight of them, but about probably, I think, 50 from the team. I uh, got about five coaches coming, and a um, good buddy, Mark Powell, is actually coaching for Yale now, so good to see him, too, for sure. About the game, tough loss on Saturday at Wake Forest. What's the theme this week heading into this game on the road at Yale on Saturday? You know, just uh, just translating what we do on the on the practice field onto the game field, you know, because just trusting what the coaches say, and, you know, what, we win the game out here on uh, Monday through Friday and just got to translate on Saturday. So we're looking to, looking to make that happen. 100th anniversary of the Yale Bowl. I don't know you're growing up in Connecticut. I'm sure you're familiar with the college programs up there. It's going to be a special day. Yes, sir, absolutely. You know, uh, my dad always used to take us to, to Yale Harvard games, uh, went to support Mark, and uh, his grandpa was actually a, a pretty famous coach there, uh, Carm Coza. So, you know, it's just, just going to be great playing the bowl with uh, so much tradition there, you know. Well, Steve, appreciate a couple of minutes. Best of luck on Saturday, and good to be home for you when you take on Yale. Yes, sir, absolutely. Looking forward to it. That's Army First Classman offensive lineman Steve Shoemaker joining us here on the Army Football Report. It's Army at Yale. Kick time from the Yale Bowl, 1 o'clock on Saturday. Coverage across the Army Sports Network begins at 11 a.m. with the Army Football Tailgate Show. With the Army Football Report, for Night Vision, I'm Rich DeMarco.